In a previous tutorial, we looked at adding multiple power windows to this shot. Uh, well, specifically two power windows to this shot. If I go to the power windows tab and we look at node two, we see that we added a power window, a gradient power window, and this power window was used to darken just the left side of the frame. And then on node three, this power window was used to darken the upper right corner of the frame. Now in this particular case, maybe this was one node too many. It's very possible that we could have achieved all that we were going for just on one node. So I'm going to go ahead and delete node three and reset node two. As a reminder to reset everything about a node, its correction and any other controls like power windows, the keyboard shortcut is shift home. So let's say on this particular power window that we did want to add a gradient power window on the left side of the frame. Now what we looked at in the last tutorial was that you could turn on one of the other five shapes. But what you do have is the ability to create additional power windows of the same type. In fact, multiple of the same type on the same node. Notice down at the bottom of the screen there is an option for this. There are these little plus options across from the different shapes. So if I click the plus for the gradient power window, I now have another gradient power window, which I can grab and now drag and use to create, let's say, a different angle and shape for a different part of the frame. By default, these power windows are additive. In other words, whatever correction we do is going to take place inside both of these areas of the frame. So for this power window, any effect that we do will happen on this side of the frame and any effect will happen on this side of the frame simultaneously. Now temporarily, I'm going to go ahead and hide the overlays by clicking on the curves tab and bring down both gain as well as midtones. And what we'll see is that just on this one node, we were able to use a power window to just darken the left side of the frame as well as just darken the upper right side of the frame. So if the correction that you want to do is going to be the same for different parts of the frame, there's no need to create multiple nodes. All the work can be done just on one node. And it's actually also a lot easier to see a before and after of just that remolding of the image. In fact, I think I'm going to go one step further and add another power window, another gradient power window that's just coming down from the very top of the frame just to add a little bit more shadow near the top of the frame. And I'm going to zoom out with the scroll wheel a little bit so I can move that up, drag that down a little bit, and now go back to the Curves tab to hide our overlays, click into Enhance Viewer so that we can see the end result, and press Command-D to turn on and off those corrections that we've been doing. In the next tutorial, we'll look at something very powerful and also very commonly used, something called Outside Node. It's a different type of node that allows us to take our selection and move it to a different node. Let's take a look.